G'day, this is Captain Noob, and this is Queen Tested, a video series where I make like the Joker and try to kill Barbara Batgirl using a specific legendary weapon during Scorched Earth. Today's weapon is going to be of the uh, Slugger approach. It's the first Slugger weapon I've actually used on this character because I've actually fully specced out into that now. It took a little bit of level grinding, but we're finally here. This one is bloodied with 40% faster swing speed and taking less damage whilst power attacking, which will be somewhat useful. The game plan here is to use a shotgun with Enforcer to cripple her wing, force her down to the ground, sneak under her face, and then keep on power attacking her until her health bar runs out. It's not a very easy method to actually beat the queen because you'll tend to get interrupted by a lot of ads all the time and they'll detect you, then Barbara can just easily kill you. Like, we don't have any of the defensive perks that you'd have on an unarmed weapon, so yeah, we're very glass cannon with these types of weapons, but you can use these things in power armor, that's the kind of the difference, but our damage output is a lot better whilst we're not in power armor, so I'll do this without power armor. Perhaps if I ever do a super sledge, that thing kind of gets you detected while swinging, I'll jump in power armor and see what we can do with that. But for now, we're going with all of the unyielding stuff, which I'll get to in a second. Quickly glossing over the build here, I've got all of the Saga perks as necessary, all 9 out of 9. Got Incisor and also Martial Artist for um, armor penetration and swing speed, um respectively, obviously boosting damage output on both parts. The faster you can swing this, more damage you'll dish out, the higher DPS you can get. Got concentrated fire just to check on the status of the limbs, see if we want to cripple the uh, queen's wings and bring it to ground. We can check on whether they are crippled using concentrated fire. Also, we can use that to cheese um, shotgun criticals and bats to just make all of the pallets hit regardless. It'll do fuck all damage, but it'll it'll the amount of times it'll hit makes almost certain that the limb will actually cripple, which is useful. Got Adamantium Skeleton, less limb um, cripples will mean less staggering for us, which is useful for a melee build. That's there to stop the Scorch Beast Queen from using a roaring death breath to kill us, as well as a baby Scorch Beast. This perk here right here increases our strength by 5 when we've got full, basically full um, rad bar on our health, so... That's an extra 25 damage for only one point of endurance, very good. And instead of Life Giver, I'm using Rejuvenated because, I, I mean, it doesn't really make a whole lot of difference, but it's an animated card, right? It's kind of cool. That's for a little bit of um, extra survivability. Nerd Rage obviously synergizes well with Bloodied Nerd um, Adrenal Reaction and also all of the Unyielding Gear and Radical, so that's an excellent perk to have, and that's just to keep it around for longer. Got also... Ninja and Steak, these two synergize together to maximize damage output. Obviously, Enforcer is going to be used to cripple, and Adrenaline is there to gain any damage when we're clearing out ads, because that's the problem with melee weapons. You sit there under um, Barbara's face, just whacking her, and sooner or later, you're going to get detected by something, and, you know, you got to kill that thing, so you might as well gain extra damage out of it, right? You've got a uh, bloody mess for extra damage output, an extra 15% slapped on top, multiplicatively stacking, very nice, and serendipity for extra um, survivability. Quickly going over the armor here, I've got all unyielding armor, all of it has AP refresh. Um, I've got um, a, I think it's a padded thing, I could actually chuck dents on because I've got a dense plan, not from this queen, but the queen before my little practice run of this, it didn't quite go to plan, but... All of this is unyielding AP regen, got two pieces with uh, reduced falling damage, and my arm bits have aerodynamic, which means I'll take up less AP whilst power attacking. Not that it will matter, all of the AP makes that, well, just kind of, all the AP regen makes the AP come back as soon as I've finished the attack anyway, but I guess it's nice to have. Alright, let's get started. Alright, Nuke's gonna touch down in like two seconds, so that's good. And now I've got a plan. I need to fill my crit bar up, so. What I'll do is I'll just mosey on over here and then hit these guys a little bit. Oh my god. Why do they have why do they have corpse collision when they're not dead yet? Or or when they're in their dying animation. That's weird. So anyways, there's Barbara. She's flying out and about. I thought that was a little baby one. But all we need to do is lure her over here. Shouldn't be too hard. And to have a surefire way of crippling her, I've got a cunning plan, you see. It involves the use of concentrated fire and a critical. Um, it didn't work this time, but concentrated fire still might pull through for me. Okay, that didn't work like I expected it to, but it looks like she's aggroed on something else, so it probably wouldn't have helped all that much anyway. So I'm guessing it's just got a bunch of uh, crabs over here. It, it's, it's just a random encounter spot. You, you don't quite know what you're going to get. But whilst I'm here, I'm probably just more effective just... Uh, shooting it without the use of that. We indeed have 
crabs. Okay. Enforcer's being a little bit of a bitch right now, but we'll just have to see how we go. Um, we'll quickly just gather some adrenaline on these guys, so in the event that she does decide to plant her fat ass on the ground, like so, we've got plenty of adrenaline to whack her with. Now, the game plan here is like any other. Basically, uh, hit her like that, and I've just got an endanger all syringe just to slag her a little bit. And crowd control is as easy as holding down the alt button and running like hell, and then having the grenade do nothing. Sure, whatever. You'll look like you're low enough to hit, so I'm gonna whack you just to get you out of the way. Very nice. Low flying scorched beasts are always the best ones to kill, by the way. Anyways, so uh, we're in danger from something. I can't believe that thing hasn't been scorchified yet. We'll just get him out of the way because he'll present problems to us. Basically, everything over here is gonna present problems to us, so we need to be diligent about actually controlling the situation a little bit better than we would normally, because we don't have the tankiness to deal with this, nor do we have stuff like the range to deal with it. We're back into caution for now, but it won't last forever. Don't exactly know what's going on here. I've crippled the head of the thing, which is now is when the critical enforcer gets going, but I feel like she might be a little bit bu Oh wait, no. I got her attention back. Just, ah, of course. Little ankle biters always get ya. Oh, it's just a queen on queen action here. That's fine. Um, What'll probably happen is that thing might land pretty soon. No, she doesn't want to land. They've got this My Alert Queen in the way. She's diseased, got the blight. I got radworms earlier, so no problem. We'll just quickly take her. Now, on to a different flavor of queen. The, the, the flavor the Chinese like to put in soups, as it would seem. Come on, concentrated fire. There we go. That's got to have taken the wing out. Oh yeah, she's rearing up for a landing right away. And if you notice on the horizon, we don't have a lot of angry uh, red dots on our screen. We do, however, have a... She dabbed before I could go back into caution. Poor timing on my part. Oh, here she goes. I gotta quickly run over. She might have picked a fight with something else over here. Good old terrain that you could easily step over in real life, stopping you when your tracks in Fallout 76. This is why the characters handle so badly. It's pretty bad. Anyways, what can what else can we cripple? That can probably go. Your face can probably get crippled. Yeah. I'm gonna cripple a couple of things. Oh, she's legging it out of there. Can I get your Okay, apparently she's doing a dance off again. Oh, she spotted yet another queen. That might have got scorchified though. No, it didn't. She just kind of forgot it was there. So whilst we're here, we'll just whack her a little bit. I can't believe I missed. This is this is why twisted muscles sucked and why I wouldn't touch it on my strength build. There we go. Not sh we won't see much damage difference in terms of the numbers, but I'm thinking that okay that you need to go away. Whilst everything else is scorched, um, she isn't, so she's going to aggro everything, and she's still doing the thing, and despite that's in all its brilliance with shotguns, it's pretty hopeless when it comes to melee weapons, so... <laughs> Talk about bad breath. We need some of that gulper Colgate to work on the uh, Barbara here. She's stuck in a tree, which is helpful for me. Quickly uh, take out all of these bastards. We're going to get detected, and hell will rain down on us. But uh, here's, it's kind of like that when you're fighting the queen with a melee weapon. You, you need, you need to have these openings, but sooner or later the enemies are going to track you down and they're going to find you and they're going to whoop your ass. I don't think I'm getting snake criticals. That is not 4,000 damage. Looks like she's coming in for a landing. There she goes, majestic. Stiff as a kite. And we'll just continue. Oh, I'm hearing dogs. They need to go away. Where there's one, there's many. I'm going to get killed by the queen now. Because I'm detected. You can go away. There we go. Uh, give me caution. That's the stuff. That's what I want to see. Now, getting the hits on her hitbox is quite unpredictable when she's in this state. So, just kind of go like this. There she goes. Alright, that regenerates her limbs because, well, everything regenerates when she's doing that. 
that's crippled her right leg right away. And if she lands in there, that's game over. She'll actually crash the server. Um, I like to call that the um, rage quit spot. And apparently crippling the legs was good enough, but no, I don't believe you for a second. She's looking ready to get up at a moment's notice. So let me just find your wing. There it is. Go on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Probably is enough. I'll just empty the mag out. Pop a quick reload and get back to what we were doing. Now, despite us being kind of super far away from her, we're hitting her from here. And it is time for more sneak criticals. I've really grown a dislike for fighting the queen. Oh, shit. Of course, it's the crab that sees me. Okay, so now that I've got basically no enemies around me to possibly aggro her or anyone else. Oh, here they come. Right on time, eh? You know what? I'm going to run over here and you can't possibly follow, right? Back into caution for now. Going to pop another Radex. Holy fuck. I was actually lured into the nuke zone just then. Uh-huh. Well, we're doing this at 5% bloody threshold now. And of course, something gets on top of you. Barbara knows where you are. And instant death follows. It'd be nice if I could fucking hit the thing, game. Thank you. Alright, in caution once again. Now, are you going to land? No, you are not. None of your wings are crippled, as far as I know. Nope. That's a hit. We've got a critical ready. Right, there we go. That's what we wanted to see. Right, another ankle biter around. This is how you get detected. Or maybe not. We actually managed to avoid that. That's helpful. And now we can hit her again. It'll go like this until something else gets her attention, but... Yeah, for 4,000 damage, I feel like I was doing more with... There we go, that's what we want to see. That's the 4,000 damage that I was expecting. It took a while for us to get there, but we're here now. And now that none of the enemies are around to support her, nothing's around to immediately detect me, we are done. Okay, so I've managed to do it, that's, that's for certain, but... There's the stuff, by the way. It's it's not a very fun task fighting the Scorch Beast Queen with a melee weapon. If you were doing it in a team of, like, stealth melee or ninjas, I guess, that actually know what they're doing, I reckon it'd be a lot of fun. But for solo play, it's, it's not very fun at all. You'll end up being attacked by a lot of things that you can't really see coming, and then they're just... Well, I'm glad I died after I picked up my flux, and now I'm spawning over here because I'm over capacity and this bug still exists. Anyways, I think you get the point. It's not a terrible solution to it, but it's just too slow. All of the melee stuff is too slow. Whilst you're there hacking at her face, it gives you, it makes you super vulnerable to anything to attack from anywhere. So you'll end up in a position where you've got. Uh, I don't know, three or four enemies on top of you, including the burrowing ones, the doggos, too, because they're omnipotent for some reason, too. So as frustrating as it is, we did it, but I don't really enjoy doing melee weapons on this series. Thank you for watching, guys.